Hey there! In this video I will be demonstrating how the new Ruins mod template parser works. So for the template parser you need a base plate of sorts. Just take any block, any block you can break and make a plate on which you will be building your template. Make sure it's uh, rectangular because the sh template shapes uh, are always rectangular. So now we have a base plate. Uh, any blocks you used for the base plate, it has to be one of the same block. You can use more in the template itself, they will be disregarded. So if you need uh, some floating red bricks in your template, just use these to get them up. Let's add something here. There. A little rail. It doesn't matter which way uh, your template is facing, uh, it will rotate fine later anyway. So there we go, I have a little construct uh, with a floating, I don't even know, let's call it a UFO, a brick UFO, and this little train shape. Now if I want uh, to convert this into a ruins template file, I type pass ruin followed by the name of the file I want. So, um, brick UFO, for example. Now it says, template parser ready to create, brick UFO, break any block of the base plate now. Since I'm in creative, this is going to happen very fast. And there we go, success writing template file and the uh, file name, so you don't uh, miss it. Now. I have saved this template as a file on the computer. It's always the server, so if you do this um, online, you'll have to keep in mind the file will be on the server now. You can use the second command, test ruin, immediately to spawn what you just um, passed. And there we go. As you can see, it's the template I just outlined, except the helper blocks which made up the base plate are gone. I could have put um, the entire template higher and it would have been passed as um, spacing, padding, below the template. Now uh, for testing reasons, we can also um, rotate this template. Ruins allows full rotation of anything we spawn, so um, if I try to use test ruin again, it will tell me uh, to uh, select a template, because it only buffers the one we passed once. So um, we remember, uh, what did I call it, a brick UFO, test ruin brick UFO, and here it is again without rotation. If I want to rotate it, I have to append the integer value of the rotation I choose. Those are 0 through 3 for each of the directions. Uh, test ruin brick UFO 1. And there we have it. The template is rotated now compared to before. Oh, it, uh, it has cut off the other template here while spawning. You have to be careful where you spawn your stuff. So uh, for a more exhaustive example, this is the testing template I included. It's called tester and uh, well let's pass it. Pass ruin tester. Um, the file you designate here will be overwritten. So uh, do not use this on an existing file if you want to keep it. Template parser ready to create tester. I break it. There we go. 48 rules. There's a lot of stuff in here. Now, since I uh, have just passed something, I can again use test ruin without arguments. And here we go. All that crap I put over there to test with. Here it is. And let's rotate that for fun too. Uh, let's invert it, test ruin, tester 2, and there we go. 
as you can see, it's now inverted, facing south instead of north. And all blocks are still looking good. So the rotation fixes I did for this version work. Yay! So that's how you use the template parser. Have fun with it and you better bring me some new templates now.